Hello, and welcome to The Roar. I'm your host, Connor Pritchard. And today, we're introducing you to a new segment, How to MMS with Liz White. Hey guys, I'm Liz White, and today on How to MMS, I'm going to show you how to approach the main office with kindness, respect, and confidence. Flash your car while you ripped your dress You spilled your tea and it made a mess Your iPad broke and you're in distress It's how to women mess With Liz White I need to call my mom Do you know your number? No Whoa! Stop right there Don't do that Do this instead Hey Kelly. Hey baby, what's up? I need to call my mom. Okay, do you know her number? Yeah. Okay, dial nine and then the number. Whoa! Stop right there. Don't do that. Do this instead. Hey, Kelly. I'm pretty sure I know my mom's number. Anyways, now to our teacher feature with Liz White and Cole Johnson. Hmm. Man, I can use a Chick-fil-A. Oh. Miss Childers is a 7A English teacher here in Milton Middle School. We asked some students about her class, and here's what they had to say. What do you like most about Miss Childers? Uh, she's very polite, and she actually makes English fun. What do you like most about Miss Childers? She's awesome, and she makes things easy to understand. What do you like most about Miss Childers? She's really nice to everybody, and she just makes her class really fun. What do you like most about Miss Childers? Books. What do you like most about Miss Childers? She's nice, and she makes English fun. What do you like most about Miss Childers? Um, she's nice and she makes the activities fun that we do. Hello, I'd like uh, two caterings, uh, chicken nuggets, uh, 25 large fries, then three, then I have five sweet teas, and uh, wait, 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 one's one second. Now, Liz White for the exclusive interview with Miss Childers. Liz? Anyways, back to us saying uh, five. Thanks, Cole. Today I'm here with Miss Childers. Miss Childers, what made you want to be a teacher? Um, I wanted to be a teacher because I love kids. Um, I love seeing a student learn new things. I love to read, and I like to try my best to spark a love of reading in my students. Um, and having time off in the summer is not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> yes. So what did you study in college? Um, I studied English education at West Liberty University. Um, I loved their English program there. I had a really good time in college. It was a good experience. So if a new teacher came to Milton Middle, what, would advice, what advice would you give them to really flourish here? Well, first of all, I would tell them that they hit the jackpot with school, <laughs> the school yeah. that they you know, are, are working in. Um, I love Milton. I went to Milton Middle when um, it was the old building. Um, and this was my dream school, and my goal was to, you know, become a teacher here. Um, I think we have a great community and staff and administration. Um, so I'd say overall, like, they, you know, have picked a great place, and I don't think you can go wrong to, to work here. So. so what books have you read with your class this year? Um, I actually brought copies of them. Um, <laughs> we read Legend uh, first semester, and it's actually a, a series. There are two other books. Um, my students have really, really liked this book. Um, and then right now we are reading The Hunger Games. And today, actually, in my class, we're doing, like, the reaping ceremony. And um, throughout us reading the book, they'll be doing, like, different challenges. And the districts will, um, like, get different points for things. So it's been pretty fun so far. We're doing, like, dystopian this year. So what have you thought about teaching this year with, you know, COVID and everything? Um... This year's felt more normal than the past, you know, couple years. Um, I am just thrilled to be back here and, you know, things being as normal as possible. Um, 
and I'm glad right now it's starting to warm up and I've been taking my classes outside to read and we're back to playing intramurals. So I think it's been, it's nice. It's nice to get back to the swing of things. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Back to you, Connor. Hi, I'm Gregory and I'm five years and three days old. And today, my mom and I had an argument about what kind of cheese I wanted on my sandwich. I said I wanted mozzarella, and she said she was not going to the store. Things got pretty heated from there, and now I'm in the corner again. Time to show you some more Panther facts. Welcome to Craggory's Corner. Panther facts and more. Come with me and explore. Everything in Craggory's Corner. Did you know that black panthers are known as the ghosts of the forest? And that makes sense because ghosts, not real. Panthers, not real. Put them together, what do you get? Two not real things. Not real. We're still not sure how that little guy managed to hijack our broadcast, but he sure is a cutie. Now, for this week's Panther Picks, we asked whether you preferred to watch the movie or read the book. Here's what some of you had to say. Mr. Colgrove, what do you prefer, the book or the movie? The book. What do you prefer, the book or the movie? I like the book because they're usually original. Skylar, what do you prefer, the book or the movie? I prefer the movie because there's more action. The book does have detail, but the movie does have more detail too because you can watch it. Do you prefer the book or the movie? You know, the movie's really good and the book's really good, but books you have to turn pages. Movies you can just sit there. So I take the movie. Which do you prefer, the book or the movie? Um, well, you see, the book, it's got more detail and stuff, but I always end up daydreaming. So, in the movie, like, I see everything and I like it better, so I got I got the movies in five, a game series. Do you like the book or the movie better, Jake? Movie. Do you prefer the book or the movie? Absolutely, 100% the book. The movie is usually the five below version of the book. Do you prefer the book or the movie better? Uh, movie. Do you like the book or movie better? Movie. Do you like the book or movie better? Movie. Do you prefer the book or the movie better? I prefer the book. Do you prefer the book or the movie better? I prefer the book because as you can tell, there's so many more layers to the book than there is the movie. The book can last a couple days, up to a week. The movie's only two hours. Do you prefer watching the movie or reading the book? Uh, I prefer watching the movie, really. That's simpler. So do you like reading the book or watching the movie better? It depends on what it is. If it's like the Harry Potter series, it would be better to watch the movies, in my opinion. Miss Grass, what do you prefer, the book or the movie? <laughs> the book, of course. Thank you. And now for our results. 24% of you prefer to read the book instead of watching the movie, while 76% of you choosing to watch the movie. If you would like to participate in Panther Picks, polls are up on Mondays. As always, remember to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Milton Middle Schools. We hope you have a great week, and go Panthers! Do you like the muck or the... <laughs> the muck? <laughs> 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 no, no. They don't pop! What sort of beverage should I bring today? Oh, it's orange. Whoa!